Hey guys, hopefully my camera doesn't cut off. I'm going to do a real quick demo on this new Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Matte. And I'll come back and let you know how it lasted. But I'm going to try to put it on on film. And hopefully my camera won't go out. Now, you know me and Maybelline are not friends. Um, usually I never have any luck with them as oily as I am. But... I decided to give them a chance with this new that they came out with so if the camera does cut off I am still gonna upload this and then just keep watching because another video will pop up and it will be a couple of hours later and I'm gonna go over my eyebrows because they're tatted so I just take a q-tip and I wipe it off later but um if this cuts off, stay tuned. There will be another video after this. And the other video will be probably about two or three hours later. Longer if I can make it. And I'll tell you that this is medium coverage. It's not full. And I didn't do any concealer for the purpose of seeing what it is. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can still see my freckles. So it's medium coverage. Um... Which means I will have to conceal my freckles with it. But if it is as matte as it says, then I will keep it. Now, I'm not petty, but I did keep my receipt because these foundations, even though they're drugstore, they're not cheap. If it's not mattifying, I'm going to return it. Only because it doesn't benefit me at all. If it's not mattifying, I can't use it. It doesn't benefit me. I'll return it and get something else. So, that is the application of it. It is a very natural look. I love the look. I love the feel. It feels very lightweight. And this is what it looks like again. It is the new Maybelline Fit Me. I chose 330, which was toffee caramel. And um, I normally am a caramel. Um, NC45 and MAC, since that's what everybody likes to refer you to. But 330. And I'm glad I chose this color because I was going to pick the one right before this and that would have been too light. This is a perfect match. This is matte poreless and my pores are huge and I did not conceal my pores. So I'm going to come back and let you guys know how it felt. I'm doing this on a Saturday, which is good, not a work day. I'm going to run out. I'm going to run some errands, do what I need to do for the house. So this will be a really, really good test of this foundation and how well it holds up. And it's not that cold here. I think it's in the 70s, which is not that cold, which is good because I need to see how this holds up in natural weather. You can get away with some stuff in the winter, but running around, it's not that cold. We're going to put it to the test. I am going to set it with some setting powder um, because I just wouldn't dare not. And I did buy the new L'Oreal Infallible Setting Powder, um, Infallible Powder. This is also new out in stores. I'm going to set it with this because I want to see how this does too. 16 hour holes, so they say, Pro Matte Powder. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to let you know how these two work in combination together. Um, and we shall see. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I am back. It's been about four hours. Um, I forgot to say the time when I did the video earlier. It was like 830. And now it is one o'clock. I have not blotted. You can see where my glasses were on my nose. But I haven't blotted. I haven't touched up. And I'm in the bathroom. I'm really not um, shiny at all. The glare you're seeing is from the light. But I wanted to give y'all good lighting. So, so far, about four hours, I guess. Going into five, there you go. You can see that I'm not really shiny at all. It's just the light from the bathroom. This um, Maybelline foundation is excellent. Me and Maybelline may just fall back in love again. Um, you will see this in the shop, my stash, for the first week in January. I will wear this for an entire week. But my first trial day here, uh, it's been about four hours. I'm not oily. I haven't blotted. I don't even feel like I need to blot um, the undertone with it are yellow undertones which is awesome it's not turning reddish orange on me Maybelline actually may have done something this time honestly so I would say if it's on sale or if you have a coupon or even if you don't go grab it I think it was 
$7.99 or $8.99 from Walgreens. Go ahead and grab it. Check it out. I'm going to hold on my, to my receipt for the rest of the week. But I've been out shopping. I've been out running around. I did have a couple of hot flashes. It is um, high 70s, so it's not cold out. The sun is out. It's kind of rainy and dewy out, and it has done excellent. I actually, actually do love it. I am not oily at all. That's awesome. Yeah. So, this will be in my shop, my stash for the week, but my first initial review on the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Mattifying Foundation is it has done great. It has got further than Maybelline has ever gotten with me as far as a foundation. So, I am truly, truly loving it. It is medium coverage, so I don't know if I would purchase it again because I like full coverage foundations, but... Running out, errands, weekends, stuff like that to have in your stash is an excellent, excellent foundation. And so far, it is staying matte within five hours, which is very, very good for a drugstore foundation. Okay, you guys, I did not use any setting spray. I did not set it. I did set it with a powder, but I didn't do my setting spray, which I normally do. So I am absolutely shocked at this foundation. So I'm going to keep it on for the rest of the day. Anything happens or whatever, I will update you guys in the comment bar below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time we plan our makeup.